quite a tough road. But right now, we are going to check in with Freak and TSM's Frenchman. Thank you very much, Rave. I'm here with Bora Kim, a.k.a. Yellow Star. So that game definitely was closer than many TSM fans expected. Uh, talk to me about your expectation coming in and then what went wrong, if anything. Well, pretty much everything didn't go that well. Um, I think there is like kind of a confidence issue right now, but we need to work on it because you don't know. Um, we need to improve really faster than that if we want to compete at the highest level. And as you could see, we're not on the same page. Like someone w was engaging and no, had no follow up and the communication was not there, but we're slowly working on it and I hope that we'll get there. Can you talk to me about what those steps are that you take to try to get the team on the same page, more trusting? Um, I mean, we, we need to work step by step and as long as we don't have the solid foundations, it's not gonna work. So um, we need to work slowly and build this up, but I believe that with time it will come up. All right, so with time, you guys are gonna raise back, rise back to dominance then. So then talk to me about uh, sort of this, this road forward. Talk to me about sort of the, the teams you guys are against. There's Immortals at 7-0, of course they're very good. You've got a very wide range of, of teams in North America. Where do you stack up right now among these teams and, and where do you think you'll end up by the end of spring? So our aim would be the top, of course. But being realistic right now, I think we're in the middle of the table, but it's so different because in practice, we're, do, we're executing like stuff really well, but on stage doesn't translate. So I think that there is like some trust issue or confidence, but I believe that really soon we'll get there. It's so strange, of course. You guys are all veterans. You've been on the stage so much. It's surprising it doesn't translate well to the stage then. Um, but then I lost the thought I was going to say. I'm sorry. Um, I'm completely blanked. I apologize. Uh, then talk to me about sort of what you have seen from your teammates. Then talk to me about some good points. You've had some trust issues. I understand that getting you all on the same page is, is a bit rough. But talk to me about sort of the, the bright spots in your team. Who's, who's playing really well? What's, what's working as expected? Oh, everyone is playing really well. But the thing is we need to be more patient as a team because um, in league, like when someone is ahead, you need to play around him. And on the opposite side, you need to be like more patient because you cannot win on every side because the opponents are going to react. And we need to acknowledge that and be more patient and play accordingly. All right, so patience and cohesion. Thank you very much, Yellow Star. Good, congratulations on the win. Good luck tomorrow. And we're going to send it back to you guys over on the analyst desk. Thank you, Freak. Uh, TSM is going to be happy with the win. Probably Ooh. not happy with how they got it. There right? were, they're they're yeah. grateful to get the victory, but the way in which it was achieved was not all that impressive. It was a very close back and forth game, somewhat riddled with errors, kind of on both ends. And it was really about, you know, hinging on one mistake and then kind of playing the veteran status. It was swinging back game. and forth on multiple mistakes. Like, there were a lot of errors here. Luckily for TSM, Echo Fox failed to punish them for these errors on many occasions. There were about three or four times, you know, where they had an attempt uh, to try and turn something around after TSM uh, uh, made an error. And a lot of these errors were actually due to vision control. TSM's vision control was really bad this game, and it often left, as he was talking about, communication issues. Those are more plentiful the less vision you have. And people, are more, multiple people on your team are guessing and running off of uh, just assumptions that they're making on the enemy team because they have a lack of information themselves. Yeah, and this isn't really anything new for TSM in terms of well, how this season has been going for them because... It, Right now, you're talking about the lack of vision and the lack of coordination. Even that before, it was their lack of lane swap coordination. So now it's just moving on from that to the next thing. And they say they're having confidence issues and that they aren't translating what's going on in scrims to the stage. I think what might be happening is you're overcompensating. You feel like you have to prove yourself. When the community is talking about how the team is doing, you have such high expectations, you feel like you have to meet them. So you get on that stage and you're like, okay, we don't have vision, but I have to make this play. I have to make this happen. And I think that's what's putting TSM in those holes is the overcompensation to try and get their confidence back. Yeah, and that feeling of, I have to make this play, is really dangerous. It looked like that's how they ended the game. They're like, uh, every, we, we have this gold Too lead, Baron. I yeah. can't do anything, <laughs> we have to make a play, oh, uh, let's try Baron, and we're going to go for the 50-50, we're going to go for this might fight versus this combo that has a huge amount of damage. Luckily, again, though, Echo Fox weren't able to punish them for that, and TSM are able to get the victory. I mean, going for that 50-50, well, I don't even know if it is really 50-50 against an Elise, right? Like, that's pretty, pretty And a Lux, dangerous. like, and a they Lux ta well. he talks about, like, oh, they chose to use this Lux combo yeah. to try and steal the Baron so they didn't have it for the fight. But had they if got you're, it. Yeah, exactly. If, you're, if you keep everybody at a safe distance behind Baron and you try and use that combo to steal it and you get it, 
Yeah, it, it, that game could have looked very, very differently there. And I mean, there was you're talking about the miscommunications and stuff. There was at least one instance where Hauntzer is TPing in, and mm. there was really like no follow up at all. And I mean, he, he ended up living, right? He's very tanky. He's poppy. He got out, but he had to use his ult. He uses his TP for nothing. And TSM wasn't even engaging, right? There was also the kind of blunder around mid lane where they were looking like they were kind of face checking over towards Baron. Uh, they got a free kill on Hauntzer there, but uh, the game really did kind of go back and forth, and you can tell that they're really just not on the same page right now. Yeah, back and forth game until up until we did kind of see a momentum <laughs> shift with the Thresh over the wall, lanterning in Callista blind. Have a replay of that because it does kind of illustrate, again, for these more inexperienced teams, a decision like yeah. this, how it can really change the course of a game. Yeah, so, I mean, we do see that uh, Big's gonna go over the wall here. The eyes kind of get a little bit big, thinking they can take out Sven Skaren, but Bjergsen lands a beautiful stun. We get the alt coming out from Graves. The Q bounces well, gets the double hit on both of them. They both get completely deleted. And up to this point, this was actually a pretty much dead even game as far as gold goes. And it really was anyone's game, and Double Lift's gonna be able to pick up this last kill on the back end. But uh, that was like one of those things where, had they been able to take out Graves before they actually, he got his combo off, that could have looked pretty good. But Bjergsen, really fast reaction there. And Vision, once again, they didn't actually know where Bjergsen was. They went blind into that with their AD carry, and they get punished big time. Yeah, again, I mean, it's just. So many times where Fox are unable to quite capitalize on a mistake from TSM. Uh, and TSM, I think really the word for them is lucky for this game mm. to be able to get that win. I mean, even though they saw their consistent strength of early game, they outfarmed and they were winning all their lanes due to farm. Echo Fox evened up the gold by getting multiple kills, picking people off that mm. probably they shouldn't have gotten. Yeah, and I think that Echo Fox are falling into a place where they don't know how to strangle the game out from their opponents when they get a small lead. We're seeing even game one and game two today earlier where you get a small lead, you continue to snowball that with your vision control and your picks, but they don't seem to know how to do that. And yeah. that might be partially due to the fact that they have two substitutes, but overall, learning that strategy is something that most professional teams are able to do when they're at that top of the standing now. So we're seeing it from these teams. If you want to compete, you have to learn how to do that. I will say the laning phases did go a lot better than probably expected, though, for Echo Fox. It mm -hmm. looked pretty pretty solid. I mean, Golden Glue has been having a rough time against some of these <laughs> mid lane matchups. You know, he's, he's been down pretty pretty far, and he played Bjergsen very even. So um, I do think that there are some bright spots for Echo Fox, and the fact that they were in position had they capitalized on some of those mistakes to maybe win this game does speak of, of something for them to, to kind of like look look towards as right. a bright spot, right? Something to improve on. Yeah, we've talked about the struggles of Echo Fox throughout the season so far that they're having to play with these subs and as you mentioned they held a tight game against yep. tsm right these are all individually skilled players you heard it from yellow star there they don't think you know individually mechanically they're mostly living up to what they should be doing it's just that as a team tsm is not performing so ultimately a sloppy win for tsm they will be grateful to have it but not the prettiest there is still one more game yet to hit your browsers with our second place energy esports looking to defend their spot against team impulse we'll be right back after this quick break with more spring split action We'll win 2v2's bottom, so you have that, you know, that that strength in the bot lane. You guys got it. If the we start pressuring them hard, we can snowball it really hard, too, because Doublelift just runs at you and kills himself. That is a Doublelift strategy. Yep. Big still hooking in the cow, though. They try to oh. get off of that. What a wrench! I'm looking for Trundle. Trundle, Trundle, Trundle. Okay, Trundle, Trundle, Trundle. Flash, Someone's on the right. Trash, Someone's on the right. Kalista's on the right as well. All right. Nice for the play. Oh, Fates call! Oh, he hooks it over the wall. That's going to be the scout of the meek from Spencer from Bjergsen. Bjergsen shuts down the play, and now in the middle of the pit, and the whole team turns eyes onto him. Now focus on the hard and both big. TSM take the game over Echo Fox.